British actress Rachel Shunton has been roundly praised for delivering her Oscars victory speech in sign language after she made a promise to her deaf six-year-old co-star. The 30-year-old former Hollyoaks star won the Oscar for Best Live Action Short for her film The Silent Child, which tells the story of a deaf child born into a hearing family. As she took to the stage to give her speech, Shenton, who played Mitt Seaman Iver in the Channel 4 soap from 2010 to 2013, signed for the hard of hearing audience members and for her film six year old protagonist Maisie Sly. Shenton's signed speech warmed the hearts of viewers across the world and led to much praise for her inclusive message on social media. My favorite moment of the night is at Rachel Shenton giving her acceptance speech using sign language. Hashtag Oscars, one Twitter user wrote. I made a promise to our six year old lead actress that I'd sign this speech and my hands are shaking a bit so I apologize, Shenton told the audience. Our movie is about a deaf child being born into a world of silence. It's not exaggerated or sensationalized for the movie. This is happening. Millions of children from all over the world live in silence and face communication barriers and particularly barriers to education, she continued. Deafness is a silent disability. You can't see it and it's not life threatening, so I want to say the biggest of thank yous to the Academy for allowing us to put this in front of a mainstream audience, she said. Shenton wrote and starred in the film and accepted the award with her fiancé, the film's director, Chris Overton, who played Holly Oaks' cage fighter Liam McAllister in 2010. She previously revealed the emotional motivation behind writing the critically acclaimed film came from her late father Jeff, after he suddenly went profoundly deaf after receiving treatment for chemotherapy when she was 12. She went on to become a qualified British Sign Language interpreter and ambassador for the National Deaf Children's Society. Little Maisie walked the red carpet hand in hand with Shenton and Overton. She and her parents are deaf and speak with British Sign Language. She auditioned for the role after her parents replied to a post on Facebook appealing for a deaf child who communicates entirely through sign language. And while she did not join the couple to go up on stage and collect the award, Overton told BBC5 Live, When we won I could see her up there jumping up and down and that was surreal. But I think she's taken it all in her stride. She always said we'd win. In his acceptance speech, Overton thanked his fiancée Shenton. He said, It's really your hard work for the last 12 years that has really made this project authentic. He also also thanked their parents for helping to raise £1,000 towards the making of the film by making and selling cupcakes. My mum and dad made the cupcakes and Rachel's mum and her mum's partner Nigel sold them at their work, he told BBC Breakfast this morning. We crowdfunded this all by ourselves and we had the support of so many people, but it was made on a shoestring. Shenton was first thrust into the limelight when she appeared as wannabe glamour model and wag Mitzim and Ivor on Channel 4 Soap Holly Oaks from 2010 to 2013. Following Shenton's touching signed speech, hundreds of viewers took to social media. Shout out to at Rachel Shenton for simultaneously using sign language while giving her acceptance speech. That was so cool hashtag Oscars, one fan said. Thank you at Rachel Shenton for signing your speech at the hashtag Oscars for hashtag Silent Child. 
Let this be a reminder that our movies and pictures still don't represent all bodies. Thank you for your inclusivity, one user said. At Jimmy Kimmel at Rachel Shenton deserves the jet ski. Impressive to use sign language while giving your own acceptance speech. Thanks at Rachel Shenton. Hashtag ASL hashtag Oscars 2018, Amy Finale tweeted. Shenton and Overton won the prestigious award after they fended off competition from short films to Calb Elementary, the 11 o'clock. My nephew Emmett, Wata Wote slash all of us at the glittering ceremony. Susan Daniels, chief executive of the National Deaf Children's Society, said this morning that the Oscar win was an incredible achievement. She said, for deaf children across the globe, this film, its story, and its talented leading lady all show there is no limit to what deaf children can achieve. But more than that, The Silent Child shines a light on the challenges and injustices that too many deaf children experience as part of their daily lives. From issues with access to language or the means to communicate, to being let down and left behind in education, so many of the themes shown in this powerful short film are all too real for too many deaf children. She added, above all else, this film and the Oscar it has won show that when society, family and government reach out to support deaf children, there is nothing they cannot achieve. But Shenton is not the first person to sign at the prestigious award ceremony. In 1979, Jane Fonda signed part of her speech as she accepted the Best Actress Award for Coming Home. And in 1976, Louise Fletcher signed to her deaf parents when she won Best Actress for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. American actress Marley Matlin also signed when she won Best Actress for Children of a Lesser God in 1987, becoming the only deaf performer to have won the award. Oscar winners Shenton and Overton spoke to Today's This Morning live from L.A. following the award ceremony. Of the wine not really sinking in, Rachel said, No I don't think it has. We were being serious when we were saying we're so honored to be nominated, we really, really meant it. We've said all along, if this is where it ends, at the nomination. We're so happy with that and then they read out The Silent Child. We still can't believe it now. She added of accepting the award, I could see Maisie, Sly, I knew where she was sat with her mum. I knew where she was sat. I kept looking at her, but I didn't actually have my glasses on. I knew roughly where she sat but everybody looked a bit blobby, which probably helped actually with the nerves as I was terrified. Of what the wind could do for them, Chris said, hopefully it will open doors, but mainly for the message of the film and what it's done for death awareness. Oscar winners confess they got burger on statuettes Oscar winners Rachel Shenton and Chris Overton spoke to Today's This Morning live from L.A. where they revealed they accidentally got some in and out burger on one of their statuettes. The duo won for their short film The Silent Child and Rachel said of their celebrations, We did go to a party. We did a few interviews. We went in, got an in and out burger, and then went back to the flat where all of our crew were, had a cup of tea, had a bit of a celebration with them. Chris admitted, there is still a bit of tomato on one of the Oscars. With Rachel confirmed, Chris got a bit of burger on his Oscar. Of the win not really sinking in, Rachel said, no I don't think it has. We were being serious when we were saying we're so honored to be nominated, we really, really meant it. We've said all along, 
if this is where it ends, at the nomination, we're so happy with that and then they read out the silent child. We still can't believe it now. She added of accepting the award, I could see Maisie, Sly, I knew where she was sat with her mum. I knew where she was sat. I kept looking at her, but I didn't actually have my glasses on. I knew roughly where she sat but everybody looked a bit blobby, which probably helped actually with the nerves as I was terrified. The duo had the This Morning logo sewed into their outfits and after Chris flashed it on the red carpet host Philip Schofield laughed, I love the fact that you showed it on the red carpet. The duo admitted they forgot to pick up the coveted goodie bag. Rachel said, we were in a bit of a whirlwind, met our parents, met Maisie, made sure they were okay. We went to the governor's ball to get our Oscars engraved. It was only when we left we were like, oh, we didn't get a goodie bag. I actually don't know how we've done it. Of what the wind could do for them, Chris said, hopefully it will open doors, but mainly for the message of the film and what it's done for deaf awareness. Rachel added, we'd love to extend this story either a feature film or longer drama. Hopefully it will help for that. It's a pretty decent proof of concept. Chris said, we need some time to go back home and just chill out. Maybe have a few days away. Rachel laughed, I don't know how we're going to top this. Of where they'll keep the statuettes, Rachel said, on our bookshelf.